2014, we moved into a flat in the block of flats just, just behind me. And the first winter we were here, January, February, we heard screams. We thought at first that this was a baby or somebody was being attacked, but then we realized it was the scream of a, of a fox. Then later on, uh, we heard a noise, a different noise. Uh, it was probably later on in the, in the springtime. It's a moonlit night and my wife got out of bed about three o'clock in the morning and she, uh, she looked out of the window and, and looked down into where we're standing at the moment and she saw a whole family of foxes uh, on, the, on the tombstone here. Um, she couldn't quite count them, but it looked like there were two adults and, uh, and three cubs. So it's absolutely clear that urban foxes, they're certainly not threatened, unlike some of our wildlife. We have problems with hedgehog numbers, problems with badger numbers, but it looks as if urban fox populations are increasing. Uh, not just in London, although I think the main population uh, is in London. There's evidence now that uh, foxes, urban foxes, are found throughout the country, uh, as far north as, as Newcastle and into Scotland. So what about the future of foxes? It looks like uh, a strong future, certainly for urban foxes. I'm not sure about rural foxes. But what's interesting is that because people are attracted by foxes uh, and they will feed them and enjoy feeding them and enjoy seeing them, is that more and more fox, the urban fox becomes perhaps a, sl a slightly different species um, being adapted to an urban life. And some of the research has actually shown quite clearly that where foxes occur in suburban areas, they tend to have smaller territories because they know where the food supply is and they will go back to the same houses, the same people who provide that food for them. So their behaviour is changing and there's some evidence to suggest maybe uh, because they have a different lifestyle, uh, different food sources, that it, they may be changing their uh, anatomy uh, as well. So one of the interesting things is to keep abreast of the population as it grows and look at changes in behaviour and changes in, in fox anatomy. It's here to stay and it's wonderful that people do enjoy seeing them.